Have you noticed that lights on cars are getting brighter? In fact, it's become a major problem. About 90% of drivers state that car headlights are just too bright. About 25% of these drivers try and avoid driving at night or just don't drive at night because of the glare that they get from headlights. 85% of respondents in a recent RAC, the Royal Automobile Club in the UK, stated that they had been blinded by the lights of oncoming cars. We did our own poll on here and at the end of this video I'll post up the results of that poll and your comments. We have a growing problem. Lights are getting brighter. What's happened to the humble car light over the years and how have these modern innovations affected the modern motorist? And most importantly, we're going to look at some tips to help the driver avoid the problems associated with glare. There's a few very, very simple things that we can do. They're tips that most drivers pick up over the years, but a few may not be obvious to us. So it makes sense for us to just cover these tips in this video. Over the years, we've relied on the traditional light bulb. A filament is heated, it starts to glow, and that emits light. Now, the byproduct of this process is a lot of heat is given off. So we're putting electrical power into the bulb. We're getting out some light and some heat. There's a fairly big loss. If you've ever felt a bulb, don't do it. They're really, really hot when they've been on for a while. A lot of energy is lost through the creation of heat in the bulb. With modern headlights, they've become much more efficient. In most countries and most areas, there are legal limits or legislation that generally involves the wattage of the bulb. They don't always look at the light output of the bulb. Here in the UK, the pattern of light that is dispersed is tested annually. And interestingly, about 25% of cars fail due to incorrect aim of headlamp bulb. Straight away, we've got the problem of the bulbs being aimed in the wrong direction. Plus, we've got the issue of bulbs being much more efficient and outputting a lot more light. Also, cars are getting bigger. People are buying SUVs. The lights are going to be slightly higher off the ground, slightly wider apart. And that's just going to add to the problem of glare from oncoming lights. The modern HID, the high intensity discharge bulb, works quite differently from the original filament. So we're not heating up a filament anymore. We're creating an arc. You've probably noticed the intense light that's given off when someone is welding. And it's a similar principle in a HID bulb. You're creating an arc of electricity and that produces a very, very bright, intense light. These do degrade significantly over time. About 10,000 hours will reduce the light output by about 70%, according to some sources. Of the 30 million cars that are tested annually in the UK, 1.5 million of those fail due to an incorrect aim of the headlights or the incorrect beam pattern coming from the car, which is quite a significant proportion. What can we do as a driver to reduce this problem of being blinded at night? The first thing is a very simple technique. Don't stare at the lights. When we first learn to drive, you tend to be attracted to the intense light that's coming towards you. And you'll look at that. Now, in the olden days, when we used to take photographs, we used to have the flash bulb. And once you saw the flash bulb, that's all you could see for a few seconds afterwards. And something similar happens when we stare directly at a very bright headlight. It literally does blind us momentarily and our eyes take a little while to adjust. What we can do is aim our eyes slightly lower than the oncoming light beam or slightly off to the left or to the right. This involves us using our periphery, the outside edges of our vision, to determine where we are in relation to the road markings and oncoming vehicles. But that avoids a significant part of this problem of being blinded by oncoming lights. If we're tired, we're more susceptible to be blinded. Our eyes are more tired. Our blink rate, interestingly, slows up. We're blinking less. Our eyes are overall a little drier than they would be normally. And all of these aspects of being tired contribute to being easily blinded by the glare of these oncoming lights. We're looking through glass and if that glass is not clear, that is going to cause a big problem. The oncoming light tends to fog up the windscreen. It, if the windscreen is not clear, all the mist and all the smears on the windscreen will just capture the light and spread the pattern. So we're effectively looking at a backlit dirty windscreen and that can significantly reduce the, our visibility. This necessitates us to keep the windscreen clear, the outside but 
Also, the inside. Driving with a very foggy or misty screen is actually really dangerous at night. It makes visibility almost impossible when you've got an oncoming light shining at you. People have also suggested night driving glasses. Do I recommend these? Well, I would have to say get them from a reputable source. A lot of the dubious ones that we might buy in a corner shop haven't been tested to the correct standards. They're not going to do our eyes very much good. And they're effectively just going to filter all of the available light rather than the bright headlights that are coming towards us. And in some cases that can restrict our visibility. Think of the cyclist at night wearing dark clothes with no lights. We may just see them without these tinted glasses on, but with the tinted glasses on, they're almost completely invisible. Also, polarizing glasses can also create artifacts as the light shines through the shatterproof or shatter resistant glass, you can start to see the artifacts of the glass structure that protects it. And that usually manifests itself as tiny little circles and that can reduce our visibility. So we might think we're buying polarized glasses that are going to help us when driving. And at night that can actually cause a problem. Whereas in the daytime when we're not driving, they can be extremely effective at cutting out glare. Whenever we buy glasses, go to a specialist buy a specialized pair of glasses designed for the job if they're for driving at night make sure the glasses have been certified and approved for use at night i really hope those tips have helped if you've got any other tips on avoiding this glare from oncoming headlights at night let me know don't drive at night is not a practical tip we sometimes do need to drive at night we did a quick poll on headlights and your thoughts on them and we had over 700 respondents so thank you very much to everyone who responded to that poll you either gave a vote or you gave a comment about your feelings on the subject. And it was very interesting, really, overall. Only about 10% of people felt that there wasn't really a problem with bright headlights, but 90% of you felt there was a problem with bright headlights. And in fact, over half of the respondents indicated that many modern headlights are too bright and that it's a serious problem and something needs to be done about it. A more modest 37% of respondents indicated that some headlights are too bright. Obviously not a big problem for those drivers. Overall though, it's shocking really that we've got a situation where the headlights on cars are just too bright. And it really is time to rethink the legislation or the guidelines that manufacturers use when designing headlight setups for cars. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love reading all of your comments. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And don't forget to boot that like button because that really helps us to get out there. Subscribe links up there. And I've lined this video and this playlist up for you that you should find it really interesting.